Steve Hansen here with uh, Clean Smart University and uh, the janitorial store. See, I wanted to talk to you about cold calling. You know, in my opinion, I think cold calling has its place. Um, I think it's a great way for you to, to hone your sales skills, uh, no doubt about that. Uh, for you to be able to walk into a, an office and, uh, and ask to meet with a decision maker and hopefully get a meeting, you know, that's a great way to, to, uh, to hone your skills on, you know, rejection and objections and so on and so forth. But, you know, there's really a time to do that. What I normally do is that uh, when I'm at a meeting with a prospect or potential customer, when I'm done with that meeting, I'll stop into a few offices that, that are you know within the block or so uh, of that prospect. That's the only time I'll do cold calling, especially uh, you know uh, if I see a, an office building that I'm, that I'd be interested in. I'll take the time and I'll go and walk in and uh, introduce myself and uh, give them a business card and uh, see if we can get any uh, get any, any information. But other than that, other than just to, to drive somewhere, get out of my vehicle and start walking into offices, cold calling is really a waste of time. Uh, the best, uh, the best uh, method really is to uh, get a list, create a list of uh, businesses that you're interested in uh, and do some research on them. So you should uh, be able to go ahead and do some Google searches uh, and find their websites. Uh, once you get to their websites, you're going to be able to find out who the CEO or president is. Uh, I always advise people to, you know, start at the top, you know, uh, try to get the information uh, so you can contact the president or CEO. Uh, the reason for that is because uh, if you can get in touch with them, get them on the phone, they definitely know who handles the, the cleaning, uh, you know, uh, in their office. And once you get that name, then you can call that manager, which is typically the case. Then you can call that manager and say that you and uh, you know so and so, the CEO, were talking, and he gave uh, uh, gave you uh, their name and uh, wanted you to talk to him about their cleaning of their office. So it's a pretty good strategy to do that because now that that manager doesn't know your relationship with the CEO, so they're not just going to cut you off and hang up on you. So. It's a good strategy. I've used it many times. I've had a lot of success with it. But uh, again, you know, if you're going to do any cold calling, uh, make sure that it's a productive way of cold calling. Uh, otherwise, you're really just wasting your time. Your your closing rates are, are pretty low, and uh, your chances of setting appointments are also very low. So hopefully this helps. Talk to you later.